So most likely by now, you have heard of Chat GPT. Chat GPT. With Chat GPT. Chat GPT. Which and three weeks ago, I put this AI to test against Arduino coding, and the results were shocking. Soon, Avan commented that you should make a video about doing a project and seeing how much the AI can do versus how much I can do. And me being a human thought of this idea. Human versus AI. From the human side. It's Tate. All hopes are lost here. in here. Whoa, whoa, why is he, why is he here? And from the other side, it is ChatGPT. Amazing AI. <laughs> <clears throat> Okay, I'm not gonna use that effect. It's getting tiring. So the rules are simple. I will choose a random robot that we must make. We must first code it, then design it, and then build it. The evaluation will be from the function and the code of the robot that we make. But the most important stage is you must sell the robot to someone. This video is about to get crazy, so watch till the end. Let's begin. Okay, so the robot that we'll build is going to be a type of useless machine. But I want to be creative and see if ChatGPT can do this challenge. So we will build a useless game. The point is to just make something visually appealing that is kind of fun, moves around, and it's kind of like a game. Okay, so the time to build the robot is two hours, so let's go. Okay, so I have a small idea of how I'm going to do it, but I'm not fully sure how I'm going to tackle it. But there must be something, right? All right, brainstorming. So, yeah. Me being a mere human already broke something. Okay. Uh, okay, so maybe this is what I'm gonna do. So I'm thinking of a ball that kind of goes around and around. Basically, that's the idea of a toy. That means there must be like a lever that we hit in order to, I guess, release the ball so it goes flying in like some container. The container. No, scrap that. Maybe like uh, something that shoots the ball over to. No. Meanwhile. Namaste. Sashika. Ni hao. I am GPT-2. <laughs> Here to guide Chat GPT to build this robot. But we got two hours to build this robot, so let's get hurrying. So first I'll ask Chat GPT to kind of give the insight about the robot that we'll build. Okay, let's see what he says. It's an it. Okay, okay. Line falling robot. <laughs> okay, we're not looking for something that complex though. Okay, hold on, let's stop generating. Let's copy that again. Yeah, you know, we can do a blinking LED. Let's go. How about that? <laughs> the rule is I must only use the ideas provided by ChatGPT. That's the only rule. Oh my god, I actually just found it. I found Magic 8 Ball Pool. That sounds so amazing. Use an LCD display to show random fortune or answer to yes or no question. Stimulating the classic Magic 8 Ball Pool. That's perfect. Absolutely perfect. A few moments later. Uh, so here, I have made this already. So this is like the automated fish that I made before. I'm going to put a box right here, which there's going to be a key that inserts on one side of it. And when the key goes into the place, there's going to be a ball that kind of rolls down from here and then it lands right here. There's going to be a servo that is going to lift the door open and it's going to pull it with a spring. And now when this servo motor releases it, this ball is going to go flying over the thing and it's going to go back into this conveyor belt type. Keeps doing it over and over. Let's go do this. Okay, so I think we got it. Hey, ChatGPT, how are you doing? All right, so let's ask. You know what, I think those original ones, let me shake them just like that to get an answer. So I think that has like an accelerometer. Now I don't have an accelerometer, but perfect. It's giving the code already though anyway. LCD, cool. But anyway, what I'm trying to say is that we can use an IR sensor to trigger. Maybe swipe it like that and then it should trigger the eight ball pool. I think that's how we're going to do this. <laughs> Okay, so till the time that the chat GPT is printing this out, let's paint and make the box itself. Okay, so after a while, it has printed all the entire code. I also told it to tell me the wirings and where everything connects technically. Is that on? And there you go, 90 lines of code in under 10 seconds. So let's save that, let's see if it's correct or not. And it turns out, it was not. Oh, that's not good. <laughs> So yes, again, I spent like 30 minutes trying to figure out what was wrong. Even I couldn't figure out what was wrong. And just there were lots and lots of things wrong with this code. And yeah, my head was hurting a lot. Yeah. There you go. Hopefully this works. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Meanwhile. Okay, so I'm gonna build it with cardboard and also glue gun. It's the ultimate combo. And also we don't have time to build it with wood. Okay, so this is the location where the IR sensor is going to be placed. And from right here, the key is going to go inside so that it will trigger the entire system. And then I made a flap with the cardboard itself. And honestly, that just looks so satisfying to watch. Right, so this is how it looks like so far. So I made this ramp and then the motor will pull it down. 
So I attach the spring to the servo right there and the ball automatically goes over there. The second that the servo releases it, it's gonna fly back. It's going to go over. Okay, so in around 30 minutes, I wrote the entire code and it was working perfectly fine. Unlike chat GPT. <laughs> yes, that's it. Now let's build it. Okay, so I don't have any more Arduinos, but I will have to make a sacrifice from this fish feeder. It hurts so much doing this. So, okay, so let's get the IR sensor here. There you go. Okay, so long story short, I actually followed the steps given by ChatGPT itself, and it almost completely felt like I was doing Legos. But let me tell you something, if you didn't know already. We're living a life and absolutely nothing is easy. So guess what? The code did not work at all. Now, even I couldn't understand what exactly was wrong with this entire project. Okay, so one hour later and it seems like, yeah, it's not working. And basically, this code does not seem to work. And it seems like it has given up now. <laughs> Okay, so it has been 1 hour 30 minutes and it seems like the code is not working at all. I'm putting my hand on the sensor and it seems like absolutely nothing is happening. And ChatGPT itself has changed the code like so many times. It's just crazy how long I've been talking. But it seems like it has failed. Before it was showing error and then blinking and now it's just showing this over and over. Even if I reset it. It's absolutely nothing. It's just not working. But you know what? We just have like 30 minutes remaining and we gotta come up with the product. It is what it is. Okay, so after more working with it, I believe we have it all done. And I'm gonna paint it up because we got 10 minutes remaining. So let's get started. Okay, there you go. Now we did it. And it looks epic. This is the box that I made so far, and this is gonna be the lid on the top, which I'll place. Okay, I managed to get it in. <sighs> okay, yeah, that's that so far. And there you go, that's the most useless toy ever. And this is the most useless game. So the point is to dim and to undim the boxes. <laughs> so what is this toy by the way? This is the most unuseful toy a kid will ever need in their life. Alright, the GPT team is done with their build and it looks epic. Let's go. 